Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm going to show you a trailer that's small but packs a lot of options, a lot of punch to this trailer. It is stock number 5N200098. It is a 2020 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. I talked about it being a smaller package with a lot of options. And this trailer can fit a lot of different scenarios for you. Maybe you've got a big LQ and you need a little bit smaller runaround trailer but you want some of those extras on it. Or you're looking to upgrade from just a basic trailer to something with a lot of the amenities that you have on your big LQ, a lot of storage options. This trailer has it. This is a really nice little package we put together for you. Kind of start up here at the front for you. We went ahead and upgraded you to an electric over hydraulic jack, single leg. We just felt like that was a nice option to have on this trailer. You got all these extras on it. And then at that point, why would you want a hand crank? So that's a really nice system. It's very, very responsive up and down. It also does have a manual override, so if something does happen to batteries or you need to manually get it on or off the truck, you have that capability. We've got your battery box underneath. And anything that we put a battery box on with that hydraulic jack, we've got that battery disconnect. So again, if we need to shut this trailer down to get home, get to a show, Maybe somebody bumped a manger light or something like that. Instead of draining batteries, we can go ahead and kill this trailer and make it make it to where no power is getting anywhere. So when you go to hook up, you have juice to your to your jack. So this trailer here, we did a couple different things to it. This is a little bit wider trailer. It's seven six wide compared to the six ten standard width. And then we made this trailer seven four tall over the standard seven one. We just wanted you to have the capability if you do have some bigger, taller horses that you have that, uh, that extra height and extra width. We upgraded this trailer to the wraparound nose. Just gives it a nice, sleek, finished look to the trailer. And then again, we've talked about it before, but one thing we do at TransWest on all of our non-living quarters trailers is we go in and we make this gooseneck drop wall 53 inches. And the reason why 53 inches is because these trucks continue to get taller and taller. We want you to have the bed clearance that you want and this trailer running level on both those axles. So that's something we do on all of our, our non-living quarters, Cimarron trailers. Um, on the living quarters, we just want that extra headroom and plus they also squat the trucks a little bit more than the smaller trailers. As we get to the tack room on this trailer, we put a closet tack room on here. We put a nice big door on there, and then we put a fold up step for you. That step is really nice because you have your three tier saddle post right there. And it's just easier, instead of being flat-footed on the ground trying to get saddles, you can make that step up and that transition and easier to get saddles up. You can add additional saddle racks to this trailer. You can adjust those. You can space them out any way you want. And then we carpeted the whole tack room, especially behind those bridle hooks up there, so tack's not rubbing against the wall. And if you want to pan up top there, we put a two-way roof in in there. There's no windows to this tack room. So that way you can crack that, that roof in if you'd like to kind of get some fresh air in there. So your tack and blankets, pads, saddles, everything just kind of keeps everything nice and getting some fresh air to it and making it to where it's not quite as stinky. Four-tier blanket bar on the door, that's on a gas shock as well. Then we put you a brush tray down low. So again, maybe you're a, a weekend warrior or you know, you've know you got one, one event that you're gonna spend the night at. 
We'll get around to the front dressing room on this trailer here in a minute, but that's a nice option because it keeps all your tack, all your saddles, everything away, and it's all sealed off, so you're not having to smell that if you are sleeping in the nose of that trailer. Or if you're carrying a lot of clothes to a show, again, you're not mixing that. A couple things I wanna point out on this side that Cimarron does. Again, this trailer's seven six wide, so we don't have as big of a wheel well and as big of, of running boards on this trailer. But one nice feature on these Cimarron's is that is a bolt-on fender. So if, for some reason, something happens, damage to that, whether it's a, a tire issue or a horse beats it up or something happens where it hits it, you know, this guy here can be unbolted and taken off and a replacement can be put on rather than a, a weld-on that's going to take more time and more money out of your pocket to go ahead and replace. While we're in this area, I want to point out to you, you have your standard standard aluminum wheels that, that come on all Cimarron's. You see your green tab. We talk about these nitrogen filled tires. So nitrogen filled will help PSI levels from fluctuating drastically causing blowouts. Today it's gonna be really hot here in Colorado. We still have cold nights. Variants can, can cause some issues and cause blowouts. That PSI and that nitrogen filled that'll help out immensely from that standpoint. We don't talk about it enough, but on these Cimarron's you have an eight year structure warranty and three year hardware. With the purchase of this trailer as well, on these tires you get a one year no questions asked warranty. So if you hit a nail, a bolt, a screw, anything like that, that can't be patched, you send in some information to Lion's Head and they'll send you a new tire in a couple days and you have two years of roadside assistance as well. We get to the back of this trailer. You'll notice that we just have one large door. So this opening is 66 inches, rather than having a, a dual 50-50 or a 60-40 setup. But this big wide door is so nice getting horses in and out. And I'll show you what's on the back side of this when we get to the other side of the trailer. I got some stuff here set out. So that is a cutout of Cimarron's floor. And this is an Ott horseshoe that is pretty much standard quarter size, quarter horse size shoe. And as you can see, anywhere that a horse might be standing, they're gonna be standing on one of those support beams. So we talked time and time again about how Cimarron has the industry's best floor. And there's proof right there. As these centers spread out on trailers, and a lot of competitors will go in and just put a sheet of aluminum on top. And if you don't have that support in the middle there, and you have a horse standing in the middle, over time that's what causes those pits or waves in floor when you look down them. Not on these Cimarron's, those are, those are really stout floors. When we get to the stall area, a couple things we did. We upgraded to the padded dividers for you. And then you've got your stud stall. That divider at number one. So again, if you're hauling maybe two head and you wanna have some additional storage up front, you can and you can access it from the escape door. Back here, again, you have the standard insulated roof that's gonna keep this stall area 20% cooler, just making your horses more comfortable going down the road. Two-way roof vents. We've got the bus windows on the tail side and I'll show you the drop windows on the head side here in a minute. But as you can see, you can get a lot of airflow through here. Again, keeping your horses nice and comfortable on this trailer. So we work our way to driver's side. Again, I, I pointed out that extra wide door on the back, but what you also get on this trailer is a broom closet. So you get some additional storage. This is a great place if you've got like a fold up 
wheelbarrow. You've got some buckets, forks. Great place to add a, uh, maybe a corner water tank or half moon water tank for uh, carrying some water for the horses for you from home. That's a nice little feature on this trailer is that broom closet. I've got the drop windows down. As you can see, just massive openings here at two and three. And then at one in the escape door, a little bit smaller window, but that's because we have that escape door and that fold down door as well. But as I mentioned, you can get a lot of airflow through there to the horses. Nice, big, heavy duty framed windows. The seal that Cimarron uses and the weather stripping Cimarron uses is fantastic. I mean, it creates just such a, such a tight seal and keeps water from getting out. And again, these doors are just so heavy duty that you get such a nice slam when you go to shut those. Then on top of that, so you get your broom closet, but then you also get your manger storage. Again, we built this trailer a little bit wider than standard. And then with the addition of these mangers, you're not, you, you're not losing as much stall space as you really think. As I mentioned inside, you get this escape door with that stud divider. So again, if you wanted to use that for some additional storage, you can. Don't have to worry about things getting underneath horses in transit. And it's accessible if you need to get into it and you have horses loaded. As we work our way up front, we were on that back side of that closet tack. And now we'll work into this front dressing room. We went ahead and lined the walls with carpet, put you some hooks, and behind me here is a shelf with a clothes rod. So again, if you're going to some shows carrying a lot of clothes, you can keep them in here away from the stink of the, the tack and saddles and blankets. And then we put an additional clothes rod up in the nose for you. So again, if you're going to some shows needing to carry a lot of stuff with you, you have that place to, to store things, keep them nice and clean. And then as I mentioned, if you were gonna spend the night in here, you can put a mattress up here. You know, Cimarron's got a nice deep nose. It's actually 8-2, which a lot of the other competitors are 7-6. I think that also gives um, a lot of extra, how do I wanna say it? These trailers pull so much better than everybody else. We tell everybody that time and time again. And I think a lot of it has to do with that nose being a little bit longer. But then also we can get that, like in this instance, shove that mattress clear up to the front there, have a little bit more room towards the back here so that mattress isn't hanging over or right at the edge. And then with it being seven, six wide, you know, we can get that mattress up in there and you got a lot of extra room. Plus you have those windows in the gooseneck so you can create a cross breeze through here. And even though it's going to be mid-90s today, out here on this asphalt, it will be cooler inside these trailers because of that insulated roof. When we work a lot of shows, you'll see us as the day goes on, we actually migrate into the trailer and we'll be sitting inside. We might even have an easy up tent outside in the shade, but it's cooler in the trailer, so we'll be inside the trailers. And then the last thing on this trailer, we put in this front tack room. Our front dressing room is an 18 inch boot box. So a little bit deeper boot box. And then also it's a nice step for you to get up into that gooseneck. But as I mentioned, this is a little bit smaller trailer, but it has a lot of options on it. If you have any questions about this trailer or anything else in inventory, feel free to give us a call. 303-684. 3400. You can ask for myself. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg, or 
Let us know uh, how we can help in any trailers you want to look at. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.